today next class of organic chemistry is the topic is today is saturated hydrocarbons saturated as name indicate that here the tetravalency of carbon is fully satisfied whenever carbon forms four single covalent bonds then it is named as saturated these hydrocarbons are saturated one they are the simplest of the hydrocarbon species they are also known as alkanes they are composed entirely of single bonds and are saturated with hydrogen the general formula for saturated hydrocarbon is cnh2n2 where n is the number of carbon atoms saturated hydrocarbons are found as either linear or branched chain species they are in the form of straight chain without branching they are called as linear and when the branching are present they are the branched chain species the simplest alkane have their carbon atom bonded in straight chain they are called as normal alkane they are named according to number of carbon atom in the chain and the smallest saturated hydrocarbon is methane in methane there are all four single covalent bonds these single covalent bonds are bonded with the hydrogen atoms next very important property of saturated compound are free radical reactions the free radical reactions are those reactions in which the homolytically bond is broken down and the homolytic bond when ever broken down this homolytic bond produces the free radicals and all saturated compound including alkane they will undergo free radical reactions the important free radical reaction of alkane is halogenation in this reaction the substitution of hydrogen atom of alkane with halogen atom occur and the product forms are called as halo alkane we can say that the free radical substitution of alkane is usually carried with the halogen atoms in which the hydrogen atoms are successfully removed consider chlorination of methane when methane and chlorine are mixed together in the absence of light at room temperature nothing happen since the temperature is important to start of the reaction in the absence of light no free radical substitution reaction occur however if conditions are changed so that either the reaction is taking place at high temperature or in ultraviolet radiation chloromethane is formed that is we can say that the one hydrogen atom of methane ch4 is replaced with one chlorine atom and this type of substitution in which one hydrogen is replaced with the free radical chlorine atom are known as free radical reactions or free radical substitutions this reaction can be represented in this way that ch4 plus chlorine in presence of heat or sunlight ch3cl will be formed and the chloromethane is the free substitution product energetics of chemical reaction uh, why this reaction occur why does this reaction is chemically favorable the answer to these question is that a way to that the enthalpy is the very important criteria this enthalpy we can determine in uh, as the enthalpy of the reacting species and the enthalpy of the product species that is delta h is equal to the energy put into the reaction that is here the sunlight or heat which is provided to start of the reaction and energy given of from reaction that is after the product formation the energy is released if the energy put into the reaction is smaller and energy given off is higher then the reaction is exothermic and this reaction is thermodynamically favorable and if however 
the energy put into the reaction is more and the energy released after formation of product is lower then the reaction is endothermic and this reaction is not thermodynamically favorable so this is very important thing okay, why does a chemical reaction occur and why uh, the reaction is favorable is the reaction favorable we can uh, answer these question from the enthalpy change of the reaction if more energy is put into the reaction endothermic reaction and delta h is positive and not energetically favorable if more energy is given out in the reaction endothermic reaction the delta h is negative and this reaction is thermodynamically favorable we can and that diagrammatically explain this process in this way uh, look uh, at this diagram this is the energy and the reaction coordinate the reactants and the products look here the reactant of total energy of reactant is lower than the total energy of product such type of reactions are thermodynamically unfavorable and they are called as endothermic it means that reacting reactant absorb more heat and formation of product releases less heat and however if the reactants are lower energy than the products then the reaction is thermodynamically favorable and such reactions are the exothermic the delta h value will indicate enthalpy of reaction will indicate whether reaction is thermodynamically favorable or unfavorable the general mechanism of fourier radical substitution reaction it includes the three steps the first and the fourth most important step is the initiation uh, initiation means the start of the reaction in this step splitting or homolysis of the chlorine molecule or halogen molecule to form two chlorine atoms initiated by ultraviolet radiations sunlight or heat and these are the factors which can cause the formation of free radicals the chlorine atom get unpaired and have unpaired electron acting as free radical initiation breaks the bond between the chlorine molecule and in this way the chlorine free radicals are formed this reaction continuously occur input uh, for without input of further energy since the free radicals are very reactive and we can say that this uh, bond is broken down between the two atoms and the two highly reactive species free radicals will be formed the second step is propagation this step is the longest step in the pre radical substitution this steps involves further two steps uh, in the first step the chlorine radicals combine with hydrogen atom of methane that is it will extract hydrogen from methane and produces hcl and ch3 radical in the next step the ch3 radical further combine with chlorine molecule it will combine with chlorine molecule to form the chloromethane and the chlorine radical will combine and uh, will form for the further process and we can say that the uh, propagation step will occur in this way the first of all chlorine radical extract hydrogen to form the hcl and methyl radical and the fresh chlorine molecule combine with methyl radical to form chloromethane and the chlorine radical is formed we thermodynamically once again look at the reaction that is the energy versus reaction coordinates so that the reactants methane and chlorine radical will combine they are at high energy level and the products chlorobethane and chlorine free radicals are at lower energy level here first of all these radical extract hydrogen from the methane to form methyl radical and hcl is formed the further chlorine molecule combined with the methyl radical gives ch3cl chloromethane and the chlorine free radical so this is the first step of the propagation 
their theoretical form and the second step of propagation again chlorine free radical is formed the radical is propagated from chlorine to methyl and methyl to chlorine again the third step is termination termination means the flow of the reaction also sometimes termed the cessation in this step all the free radical combine with each other and these free radical combine with each other to form stable molecule again here the radical cannot propagate from one atom to another atom therefore the termination of the reaction occur and this termination we can simply represent in this way the first possibility of combining of chlorine radical with chlorine radical to form again stable chlorine molecule the chlorine free radical combine with methyl radical to give chloromethane and the two methyl radical will also join with each other to give ethane so these are the three uh, possibility during the termination and termination will causes the close up of the reaction the free radical joins again with each other to give a stable molecule these three steps uh, you can simply represent it in this way for further studies these are the references and these are the uh, very important for further study of the topics